watching KMPH Fox 26. And now, the Valley's only primetime newscast. This is the KMPH 10 o'clock news. Well, virtually since the beginning of time, men have been trying to woo members of the opposite sex. Some have great success. Others fail miserably. So, is there no hope for these men? Not according to a San Diego businessman and pickup artist who says he can teach men how to have better romantic interaction with women. Daryl Nail joins us now with more on this unique seminar for men. That's right. It was an interesting assignment, uh, to say the least. Not so long ago, there was an underground community of pickup artists, guys who shared tips and secrets among themselves on how to successfully pick up on women. <laughs> Most men go to clubs and bars to meet women, but on this night, these men not only want to meet women, they've been assigned to do so by their instructor. I was actually quite nervous in the beginning. Uh, your, your, your energy level is way too low. That's 25-year-old Jonathan Lee. He goes by the name Sin online. He's the instructor, a self-proclaimed master pickup artist whose full-time job it is to teach guys a method of seduction in real life and in real time. About, what about the bars? You, you, you're there. Yeah. That's kind of where the rubber yeah. hits the road. Oh, but yeah, it's absolutely. really strange to take a yeah. group of guys into a absolutely. bar and turn them loose on women. Oh, yeah. In the culture we live in, for the guys to get the chance to practice and get feedback, we have to go to bars and clubs because that's where the women are. But first, let's back up a bit and show you where the women were not, and for good reason. Like, you're not learning how to chase women. You're learning how to m make women, structure opportunities for women to pursue you. The more a girl works for you, the more she's, gonna, she's going to value you. These 10 students are average guys between their mid-20s and mid-40s, but each is looking for an edge when it comes to attracting the opposite sex. Being able to be good with women is something that can be learned, it can be taught, it can be practiced. Ah, practice, and we go back to the bar, this time with our hidden camera. Now this student, we'll call him Bob, is on step one, building attraction. He's doing it not with a pickup line, but by telling a made-up story he learned in class, handpicked by his instructors for its alleged high interest level among women. Isn't that disingenuous? That's flirting. That's breaking the ice. That's an excuse. That's an excuse to talk to somebody. Next comes step two, build comfort and trust. Now watch this. Bob is on the left part of the screen, but look there in the background. You see John? He's motioning his student to move the women to a row of seats. They don't see John, and that's a good thing, but they slowly agree to move and sit down. So, why was this move important? Well, according to the teacher, the women unknowingly passed a test. You have to test for compliance. Right. So you want to see if I go, hey, let's go over here, is she going to go with me or is she going to kind of stay there? Right. right, so move them around. It's a big trust builder, too. But somewhere in between step two and three, the seduction step, the student loses the target's interest. What went wrong? In John's debriefing held outside the bar at the end of the night, the instructor says, not enough touching? Um, I'd like to see you guys all touch more. Like, touch and then take it away, right? But a constant stream of touching, because without that, you fall into the friend zone. And to this group of single men, the hope of staying out of the friend zone is why they're here. And it's also why they each paid $3,000 for this three-day seminar. The price tag on this program makes a lot of people's jaws drop yeah. to the floor. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. It is. I agree. But in exchange, you have to kind of buy in, right? You have, to, you have to realize that in exchange for this money and commitment of time, you can get the opportunity to never have to worry about having women in your life ever again. A three-day, two-night course that promises to help single men pick up more women. But according to local psychologists, the secret formula used by the company is a simple one. When Bobby, a telecom sales rep, talks to a certain type of woman, he freezes up. Like, there was this huge barricade whenever I saw blonde hair, blue eyes, and, like, you know, the, the crest white smile. I, I was terrified. Those feelings of terror landed him here in Hollywood at a $3,000 a head seduction seminar held in a hotel conference room. We want them to want us to stay. At this men's boot camp in Hollywood, the instructor teaches strategies and tactics that they say helps men like Bobby have better success with the women he wants to meet. And women want men to be able to express the best side of themselves. 
The seminar includes lab work at randomly selected bars, this one in Santa Monica. Essentially, the instructors watch their students hit on girls and then provide the students with feedback. When they're having fun and like bouncing around and you go in like this, like, hey guys, it's just not gonna work. Um, tomorrow, I want you to pretend to be gay, honestly. Like, I'm, you're, you're laughing, but it'll make your energy level so much better. After failing on his first few sets, as groups of women are called, Bobby takes on a third set with three girls, one of them with two out of the three traits that caused Bobby to freeze up. We were all waiting in line for drinks and just started a casual, can, casual can, candid conversation. Bobby doesn't know it at this point, but he's already run into a brick wall. The girl, or target as she's called in class, is not interested in him. Um, I tend to go for taller guys, and my type tends to be Caucasian and blue eyes, and he didn't have either of those, which I feel is really superficial, but <laughs> it just tends to be what I'm attracted to. This is usually the point where Bobby backs down, but earlier in the day, his instructor gave him a bunch of material to use that he says will keep the conversation going, even if the target isn't initially interested. Will he succeed? We'll get back to Bobby in a second, but first, we wanted to find out what a psychology professor from Fresno State makes of a course like this. To me, it looks just like a course in social skills training. Mike Botlin has studied and published papers on a sort of mating and flirting. We asked the man with a doctorate in personality psychology to analyze our recording of the class. Most of what I saw in terms of the stuff on these videos had to do with prolonging this introductory kind of phase uh, and the longer that a guy can keep that going the more likely he's going to be able to get that woman interested in him as well that's the challenge before Bobby so he keeps talking and she keeps talking and suddenly she's enjoying the conversation he was great to talk to um, that's what got me talking to him for a while and I started to think oh maybe it'd be interesting to talk to you for you know more than just tonight and you were standing there while you were watching this guy what did you think I thought he was great I thought he was really personable and he was really energetic I thought that approaching two or three girls with one person was a little awkward because we weren't sure who he was really talking to. Um, so I kind of stepped away because he was talking more to Michelle. And that was bad because when her friend stepped away to dance, the target had to make a decision and Bobby became the odd man out. I had already gotten comfortable with Michelle and I had already gotten her full attention that I didn't feel I needed um, the other girl's attention, but which was a mistake. Lesson learned? Yes, lesson learned. Here's the interesting part though. Listen to what the ladies had to say when we told them that Bobby was a student who was practicing to be a pickup artist. It was it was really obvious now that you mention it that he was part of a school that he wasn't <laughs> a part of a school that was teaching him to pick up girls. It was teaching him to be confident and more himself. So I think I thought he did a really good job. If he's just trying to meet more ladies, I think that's great. If he's just trying to increase his numbers, like trying to meet more girls to score with, then I'm kind of offended by that concept. But if he's just trying to present himself better, then I'm all for it. Bobby felt his three grand was money well spent, especially if it keeps him from freezing up. So did you learn a few things? <laughs> that, you know, inevitably, I guess, you, there was a lot of female psychology in there, so inevitably I, I was able to learn some things, but, you know, it looks like it was a lot of confidence building, self-help. Mm. So if you could make the person more confident through just approaching more women, they would then have better chance of having success.